Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel, Dear Up Chanel's 48th World. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to the ones that have subscribed. Welcome to the ones who are thinking about subscribing, but yet haven't took that plunge over here, okay? We just need you to subscribe, sit back, and relax, and let me entertain you, okay? So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And the ones that are lurking in the bushes, come on out. Come on out, hit that subscribe button, like and share, and join the family, okay? It's a family affair. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment on my videos, okay? Everything we have over here is alleged, 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 okay? We are only commenting, we're news reporting, we're teaching. Not necessarily teaching, but sometimes it may come into a teaching moment. So that was the disclaimer, all right? Uh, I came across this brother by the name of King Rucka 13. Rucka is spelled R-U-K-A and then the number 13. He's over on Instagram speaking nothing but facts. Okay, speaking nothing but facts. I was like, damn, this brother talking truth. All right. Even though he was speaking on his own platform, saying things of you know, different natures about different things he was talking about. But I was like, wow, 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 wow. And those two channels that you just have just uh, went across your screen, the Up Chanel's 48th World, please subscribe and make it make sense. That's my other channel I'm trying to grow over there. Always, always trying to grow. So let's talk about the subject at hand, shall we? The topic will be tonight, Whitney Houston. And how did she go broke so fast? And why she was more unalive and making money for the machine, the music industry, than when she was here alive, okay? When you become not so much worthy anymore, you're not making any money by... You know, your voice you want to say, and she was definitely known as the voice. Nobody in this world could touch her singing. I'm sorry. Uh, and I put her up there with um, Aretha Franklin. Um, who else did I like? That was uh, Celine, Celine Dion. I, I, I like uh, Barbara Streisand. Um, Aaliyah. Mm, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, 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 Marvin Gaye, Tammy Terrell, if I go back in the history books, um, Teddy Pendergrass, oh, and let's not forget Luther Vandross, Luther and Whitney, they the male and female of all time, the voice. What you want, Austin? Austin. Y'all sound recording. I guess so. See y'all, they never let me finish. They never let me finish doing what I need to do. They always interrupt me. I'm talking about my biological family. But when they taping, I go look for them to make sure they're not taping so they won't come up on my video. So excuse me, that's my life I have over here. You will either get my furry grandson bothering me, which is a name Jaden. You either get my daughter, my mother, or my son-in-law, who I deem as my son. Okay, so... Uh, just avoid, I mean, just not avoid, but just, just get that out your head when you uh, hear them in the background, okay? But anyway, we're going to still be talking about this uh, King Rucker. Uh, he was doing a, uh, I wouldn't say a speech, but he was on his platform talking about Whitney Houston uh, was worth more unalive than 
alive. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's pretty much all of us, if you really want to say it. Uh, such as you got life insurance on yourself, say it's in the millions or it's in the thousands, and then you look at your bank account. <laughs> mm. Does it come close to what you have on your death benefit for some? Yes. For most, no. Okay. But he just really breaks down a lot of stuff about uh, Whitney, allegedly, was trying to buy back her master's. And a lot of other things and how she had made so many platinum gold albums and she should have been worth two hundred million plus prior to her being, you know, six feet under. But you know, again, when the elite feel that you are no longer making the money where they feel they should be getting off of you, strange things happen. Strange things happen. That's all I got to say. Is it right? No, but did they, or uh, should they have really known how the industry treat them? They should. That's why you have, to me, those one-hit wonders. It ain't because the music industry didn't want them or find any value in them. They just didn't want to do certain things for some change. You know what I'm saying? They weren't going to um, mess with their character and who they were as a person just to kneel down to something that was so satanically built. Okay, but let's go on and hear what this brother had to say, and then we'll come back and um, do a little um, critiquing and, and touching on some things he was saying that was spot on or not so spot on. Uh, but again, his name is King Rucker, R-U-K-A-13, on Instagram. All right, he, I was seeing one of his reels that he uh, put out. But here we go. We'll take a little listen. They man publishers, yes. Yes. their masters, yes. Yes. and all the royalties yes. that I never got. Yes, oh. yes. So. Whitney Houston broke the Beatles record. Oh, yes. Whitney Houston broke Elvis's record. Whitney Houston is the only black artist ever, not even Michael Jackson, to have three certified diamond albums. I Will Always Love You is the highest selling female song in world history. You understand me? Is she broke? Hmm. Hmm. Facts. I ain't never heard. Whitney was going to order an audit on her publishing, her royalties, her masters. And if Whitney Houston killers came into a hotel room, right? Yeah. That's a five-star hotel, Hollywood Hilton, right? Brother Hills Hilton, Hilton, Hilton. Can I ask you a question? Where the footage from the hallway? Where, um, where the footage from the hallway? Why we never saw the footage from the hallway? You know why? Because whoever had Whitney, Whitney Houston murdered had enough power to make that footage disappear. But kill, but kill Whitney for what, though? That's oh, what I was going to ask, though. What she was fighting for? I'm going to tell you what, what I think she was fighting for. Cut her, her what right do all masters? Right? What do all entertainers do? When they run out of money. So they so their masters publishing. What's the first thing they start looking at? They publishing, they masters. They publish yes, yes. their masters yes. and all the royalties yes. that I never got. Yes. Oh. Yes. Ooh. So Whitney Houston broke the Beatles record. Oh, yes. Whitney Houston broke Elvis's record. Whitney Houston is the only black artist ever, not even Michael Jackson, to have three certified diamond albums i will always love you is the highest selling female song in world history Man, he is talking fast. what does that mean the is bodyguard was good the, the bodyguard was good let's listen to a little bit more for the people in the hotel, back hotel hollywood hilton right hotel hollywood hilton right all right yeah that's a five-star hotel, Hollywood Hilton, right? Brother Hills Hilton, 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 can I ask you a question? Where the footage from the hallway? Where the footage from the hallway? Why we never saw the footage from the hallway? Yeah, and why didn't we see the footage from the hallway? There's no taping that I saw when we were investigating or when we were looking at it, when the whole story was developing and running its uh, and to the entirety of what anybody was speculating or what happened. Yeah, that was a pretty much hit on Whitney. Um, no witnesses will come forward. 
nothing will be solved for us why it happened. They're just going to put it as a, you know, suicide or a homicide. They deem to make it a homicide. But nobody was there. Nobody, um, or they felt nobody was there in her room that she pretty much had, you know, got doped up and all that kind of stuff and found herself in the bathroom tub submerged in water, but not really submerged in water. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't filled up. The water wasn't pouring on the floor. <clears throat> None of that. It's just she was in a, a bathtub with half of, um, half, with, well, when it, in the tub, it was halfway full. And she was facing down. I'm like, okay. How did her body get in that position? Most of the time, the bodies don't be in that said position. Uh, I mean, you can go back and try to research on uh, Google it or whatever. And they do. I think somebody did a uh, position of how it should have been or how she was found. Rather than doing her body, you know, making it look like a staged event. But those who have eyes to see, <clears throat> ears to hear certain things, we know that was a hit. That was nothing but a hit. That's not something Whitney caused herself to do. And the perpetrator is still out there. Will it ever get solved when Loa come and get us all? Yeah. But do they want it solved, meaning the industry? The music industry, the execs, the owners. No, 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 no. But to me, it was slop, sloppery done. It wasn't, everything was just sloppy uh, of how they found her, what was in her room, how they handled her uh, during the whole uh, celebration downstairs, how they kept her in the room until the party was over. Then they shipped her to the morgue. I'm like, wasn't she supposed to go to the hospital and pronounce dead? Was there any life-saving techniques going on other than what, you know, the naysayers were saying that wanted to help cover it up? <sighs> I was like, a shame, scandal, shame, and a scandal. Yes, Whitney Houston's voice was succeeding. Yes, she did try to come back and claim her title. But her title was never lost. You know what I'm saying? She has a plethora of music that we would enjoy. Timeless music, such as the same thing with Luther Vandross. Mm. He couldn't make any more money for the industry. But he was much more valuable and had a significant obscene ability to make money off him. If he was no longer here. You know what I'm saying? Records, or I should say CDs, are still being sold. Music is still being streamed for Luther Vandross. When he had that stroke or whatever it was that he had, that they said he had. Because I'm kind of skeptical. Going, skep, uh, skeptical. Wait a minute. How skeptical. I guess that's right. Skeptical. On how he actually had succumbed to his illness, meaning the stroke and this and third. Because people can give you something in your water, your drink, your food, and it would look like a seizure or a uh, stroke, but it may not have been it at all. Somebody might have put that in one of those food items, one of those drink items, and it mimics something called a stroke but you know if you ain't got nobody on site that's not even in the industry and they were uh, a medical professional they probably would have told you what was going on but it is what it is we say goodbye to them or we say see you later to them because we all gonna die that's one thing we're gonna do and pay taxes in this world okay and if you don't want to pay them, you don't have to pay them because you'll be in jail sooner or later. Once they got up on a certain amount and you're not trying to pay them, honestly, 
So yeah, you'll be there <laughs> on tax evasion. Uh, look at Ron Isley. He showed it go. Uh, Wesley Snipes win. Mm, if I sat and thought about some more, I could, you know, round them off for you in this video. But y'all tell me what y'all thought about what this King Rucker was saying about Whitney Houston. Was he spot on? Was he spot on about the industry? Was he spot on about how she died at the Beverly Hills Hilton? Was he correct about missing evidence? Went straight missing and never was found in the pursuit of finding who did this to her. Mm-hmm. Because I'm right with him. Where the damn footage at? You mean to tell me this big-ass expensive hotel don't have cameras? Mm-hmm. They had everything else coming up to the incident and after the incident. But the thing that sits right there in the middle, when this shit was going on, where was the footage? Where was the footage? You know how that lady a long time ago was saying, where is the beef, meaning the beef in these hamburgers? You know, we just got this big-ass bun and this little bit of piece of meat. Where is the footage? Okay? But we can chant that till we get blue in the face and lose oxygen totally out of our body, and we will still not know what happened, really. To Whitney Houston. We got a lot of speculations. Got a lot of in the windows. We got a lot of this, that, and the third. But we ain't got proof. And that proof would never be unveiled. If the elite have anything to say about it. Okay? But when it's time for God to show up. He gonna come up, show up, and show out. And he definitely gonna find. And we, if we're privy to that. Because, you know, you know how, never know how the Lord going to structure things and, and have those who will hear what really happened in the situation. We don't know if we're going to be in that number to actually find it out unless we ask the Lord himself. Okay, I'm just saying, just saying. Um, we're his creations. You know, he gives us free will to do bad, do good. It's on, it's on us to make the decision because we're not like the angels where they're made to be or they were created to be. Uh, a servant for him and they have no flaws okay they can't commit any kind of acts they don't have free will okay they just have to be good 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 students of the master okay but um let's go back for the ones in the back that and that didn't really hear what was going on with what this brother was trying to say when uh whitney was here on earth and doing her musical quest that she loved to do well I think she loved to do it's a lot of stories that were put around her that she really didn't like seeing it anymore because of all of what you had to go through okay to stay popular in the industry yeah that's a five-star hotel hollywood hilton right Be Beverly Hills Hilton. can yeah. i ask you a question where the footage from the hallway where, where the footage from the hallway why we never saw the footage from the hallway you know why? Because whoever had Whitney, Whitney Houston murdered had enough power to make that footage disappear. But kill, but kill Whitney for what, though? That's what oh, I was going to ask, though. What she was fighting for? Her, what, 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 what she was fighting for? What do all masters? Right? What do all entertainers do when they run out of money? So they so they masters publishing. What's the first thing they start looking at? They publishing, they masters. They publish yes, yes. their masters yes, yes. and all the royalties yes. that I never got. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So Whitney Houston broke the Beatles record. Oh, yes. Whitney Houston broke Elvis's record. Whitney Houston is the only black artist ever, not even Michael Jackson, to have three certified diamond albums. I Will Always Love You is the highest selling the female highest. song in the world. The this highest. Story. Okay. Understand me? Is the bodyguard. Broke? Songs as well as the film, my man. Yes. Whitney was but like I said, you saw the video of what I did, the, of the pictures. You heard the audio. Now it's time to make it make sense to yourself. Does it make sense? Hell no. Not in my book. Not in my book. And, you know, the people that know something, they should not be fearing anybody but the Lord themselves. They should have come forward. This was a travesty. Her being around people she thought loved her, when in actuality, they didn't love her. 
But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, on the next video. Bye-bye.